students are going to be using more and more technology in the coming weeks if we remain out of school and yet they may not know how to use the technology to very easily and we're not there to help them as we usually are so what are we going to do about that and how are we going to give dynamic feedback well there are some great possibilities out there and i'm going to show you my favorite it's loom and it's free right now for educators loom is a fabulous screen cast recording program that also allows you to video record like this so there's lots of ways to support your students help them feel connected to you and get them moving on technology without any hiccups it's so easy to use you go to a um, chrome browser extension click a little button start recording and you can record something for 30 seconds or three or five minutes whatever and label that and find the link send it to a student or to your whole class and it's done it's super easy free and very helpful for students so let me just think about with you some hypotheticals say you you have some young students and they're not that familiar with Google Drive but you're using it as a hub for all of your instruction um, and all of your uh, uh, assessments communication recordings of previous lessons so you really need them to figure out how to use Google Drive well you can show them in a video recording and loom makes it so easy so let me show you how to do that so say we were teaching a student how to use Google Drive I would go up to this rosette here red rosette click on that and <clears throat> that would activate loom and you have the option to do the screen plus the camera or just the screen alone or just the camera alone so this is why this is so powerful maybe you just want to send an encouraging message to your students and you would just have the camera on like this um, you can make this bigger i believe here we go hey class I've been missing you and I have a special announcement for you you can do that or if you're just going to show them how to use the technology you can make it smaller and do the screen plus the camera which I'll show you in a minute or you could dump your face and <laughs> just do the screen I don't re recommend that as much because they need to see you don't be shy this isn't a beauty contest this is about making your students feel comfortable with who um, for being connected with you okay so I have set screen plus camera I've going I'm choosing full desktop you could also do current tab notice my voice um, you can hear that means the audio is on and I'm just gonna start recording and here I'm choosing this screen is what I wanted and I wait and hopefully my image sh shows up it's a little sluggish because I'm also recording this in a separate app hey where did I go there I am hey David I wanted to show you how to find some of those files you were asking about in your Google Drive so you'll go here to um, Mrs. Ginsburg's class this drive this folder double click on it it's a little slower when you're recording but that's okay it'll normally work pretty fast and you were asking me how to find the weekly assignment so you would have chosen Mrs. Ginsburg's class and then go here to number two assignments you're in Mrs. Ginsburg's class right now this is the folder that you need to go to and you double click on that etc that's an example of how you would show them how to use Google Drive or maybe you wanted to show your student how to get in on um, their software for phonics hero you would go to that website and similarly talk your student through the um, the things that he or she needed another thing that is very cool is that you can give feedback this way too so let's see 
I made this hypothetical lesson up, say jo you're signing diaries and this is uh, Jonah's work. It's not completed because this is hypothetical, but maybe you want to um, tell Jonah what sh he did that was so great. You can come over here to editing and click on suggesting and you could add a comment. These are tools that are available in for Google Drive, but you can also talk about them. Say you had already added the comment. My comment. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Um, let's talk about this. So you could, of course, just give them written feedback in the Google Doc, of course, but maybe it's more complicated and you want to give instructions. <clears throat> so I didn't mean to have that there, the comment. Lots of, uh, that's all, not all that what I'm intending, but the point is you can come on with your student and give them some, some suggestions. I really liked how you had um, described what went on yesterday and you started with a great topic sentence and what you could do is you could um, highlight it. So while you're there talking to the student, hey Jonah, I really liked how you started with this topic sentence and you had some really interesting details like this detail you mentioned about uh, looking in the fridge. Um, this was very vivid to me and I have one suggestion for you and then you highlight the thing you want the student to think about. What if you were to blow and you go through some little instruction and then you're there talking with your students. So this is just some of the possibilities with Loom. You can again record yourself just communicating with your student. Give them individual messages or small group messages or whole group messages or you could um, you could share how to use a particular technology or you can give um, dynamic feedback that's more um, maybe personal than giving them something that's a long written explanation, particularly for our young kids who might not be able to read um, long explanations. You can talk them through that. So let me go back and show you then what happens when you're done. It's so easy. So I've made my recording, I've taught Jonah what I wanted, and I go down here to the green arrow and I click it to show that I'm done, finish recording. And now Loom is going to process this. The longer the video, uh, the longer it takes to record it, to process it. And it's going to pop up as a new tab in your browser. And then it's, it's really important that you name this video because when you send it, the name will also be part of the um, what the student sees or the parent sees. So let's say this was um, ed, advice. Let's start with the person's name. Maybe you always want to start with the student's name or if it's the small group, like the butterflies small group. Jonah, advice on diary day four. I enter or return and that title is saved. And now all I have to do is copy this link. And anyone I give this link to can just very easily watch that recording. This is what it would ha they would see on their end. Hopefully my image shows up. It's a little sluggish because I'm also recording this in a separate app. 
Hey, where'd I go? There I am. Hey, David, I wanted to show you oh, how sorry, to... Oh, Jonah's advice, <laughs> and I started with David, but, but that is just um, uh, hypothetical about how to use Loom. It's a lot easier than you would think, and the possibilities are endless. I look forward to hearing how you are staying connected with your student, probably possibly able to give them better feedback than you will would have been able to in a class of 25 kids. You can give feedback to small groups. You can give feedback to individuals with this tool. Just send those links and your and Loom creates a library for you again for free educators. So make sure you sign up um, and I'll show you that. I'll include that link for how to get that, but just go to use Loom and you will be getting off to the races. Make sure you add that Chrome browser extension and you'll find that um, teaching and connecting with your students may get easier for you. Enjoy. Would you like future complimentary trainings like this here at Reading Simplified? Then make sure you ring the bell here at YouTube to become a subscriber so that you learn more of our ways of streamlining instruction and accelerating students' reading achievement. And you can also find us on Facebook at Reading Simplified, usually on Tuesday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we go live with other complimentary trainings and we give away some freebies for teachers and parents. So I hope to see you here again next time on YouTube or even on Facebook. Take care.